Hey guys, I thought I would do a little review on the Benefit Erase Paste and the Benefit Puff Off. Um, you know me, I'm just a girl trying to get her face on, so um, don't have tons of experience or um, not a professional at anything, I'm just telling you what I think. So you can take it with a grain of salt, you know what I mean. So, okay, I feel like this Benefit Puff Off is a really good product. I, I, I really don't have really a puffy under eyes. I have dark under eye circles. The only thing, you have to be careful. Love this packaging. But to pull, if you're holding this while you pull the lid off, you're going to squeeze the product's going to come shooting out. So you have to like hold it down here and kind of pull the lid off so you keep from squirting stuff out. Because I've done that. And then you squeeze it out of this little thing. Let me see if I can... Squeeze it out here. And it's kind of got a pinky tone. It's kind of a pinky tone. And then you use this to kind of rub it in. And it has a little bit... I believe it has a little bit of a reflective, you know, little bit to it. Nothing, nothing major hardcore. Um... The little iron thing is really cute, and it feels kind of nice on the first side, but by the time you get the second eye, it's kind of heated up. But this does work. I was having an allergic reaction one day and um, to a product I tried to use, but um, and my eye, my eye was nearly swollen shut, and I thought, well, you know, let's put this stuff to the test. And I put that on there and on this one because it was swollen a little bit too, and I mean... This stuff works, seriously. I would definitely recommend this if you have puffy under eyes. I mean, I don't have eye bags. You know, that's not one of the things I suffer from. The dark circles are bad enough. Lord, I don't need the bags to. But anyway, so I do believe that this stuff works and it's worth it. Um, the only thing about this stuff is it's, it's six months. And this is a... You know, this is a pretty good size tube. It's 0.34 fluid ounces. And you'd be, I'm pretty sure, even with daily use, that you'd be hard-pressed to use this in six, you know, they would take longer than six months to use this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wish they had made it smaller and maybe a little cheaper, uh, you know, to where you could use it up in the six-month mark. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this product or if I'm going to return it to Sephora. Only because I don't have puffy under eyes. You know, I might a little bit if my allergies are acting up. But for $30 and then a six-month shelf life, you know what I'm saying? I'm still pondering on it. But I do believe this works. If I had bags, I would definitely keep it. I might wind up keeping it anyway because I do like it. But anyway, that's my two cents on the puff off. But the erase paste... I got it in the O2 medium, and I I don't know. I've, like, been um, trying so hard to come up with a solution to my dark under eye circles, and I don't believe this is it. It is really thick and heavy, and when I apply it in a very thin layer, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't cover enough for me. You know what I mean? But... If I try to do it thicker, then all it does is make my under eye area look worse. You know what I mean? I, I This is just not for me. I'll definitely be returning this. Um, I think it's too thick and not as opaque or whatever as it, it needs to be. And it's, I mean, that's all I really can say about it. But um, one thing that I did today... This is the first time, um, and I am amazed after, you know, we watch all these videos and we see all these people talk about, um, you need to go, you know, Makeup Geek and Emily Noel, they talk about going darker under the eyes and then lightening up or, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, so many different people have so many different ways of doing things and opinions, but, um, I seen a video by Lisa Eldridge, and um, 
what she said, which I was so surprised at. And I did it today, and I cannot believe how wonderful my under eyes look. I'm just amazed. Um, she said to use just like a very thin, light um, concealer, a very light consistency, um, really thin, like brightening concealer. And this is just one I picked up at Kohl's. It's a Simply Vera by Vera Wang just an illuminating concealer and um i had almost given up on using this thing and then i seen that and what she did was just said just put it in the darkest wherever you and your eyeballs have the darkest circles or discoloration i just put it through here and then down through here on this eye and this eye's worse so i put it through here and then halfway through here and then I blended it out, uh, blended it out a little bit with like a foundation, a flat foundation brush, just kind of pat it in a little bit and then use my finger a little bit. And then I had to go in a second time in a few spots, but only use the bare minimum of what you need was her advice and just get it covered, even though it is lighter than, you know, your my skin tone. I went in with that and then got it covered to my liking and then what I did was used this uh, Maybelline Asia Wine in the neutralizer shade and this just it's what I had you know and it's more close it's closer to my skin tone so I just dabbed dab 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 you know and then I just smoothed that out a little bit and then I set it all with my e.l.f. Hide if, you know, under eye setting powder. Just my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. And it's like, voila, magic. You know, the, I've, I'm almost 35. And I have very dark under eye circles. And I've got to noticing that, sorry, I'm like, Whoa, and shaking everything. But I have I have really started paying attention to what my face looks like before I put makeup on. After I put makeup on, I'll get like way up in the mirror and I'll look and see what stuff is looking like. Because without makeup on, you cannot see any of my little fine lines. You cannot see the little like dots and places through here that I have. You can't see any of the fine lines under my eyes with no makeup on. So whenever I have, whenever I put on SLR Double Wear or whatever, it, my face just looks worse. You know what I'm saying? Instead of looking better, it's looking worse. So today I used just very light, very light uh, coverage or layer of, I got a sample of this Tarte Full Coverage, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I use this shade right here, and it's called Fair Light Honey. And that is just the perfect shade for me right now. I'm just digging it hard, you know? And it looks really good. Like, my face can look really good on camera, but looking really good in person, you know what I mean? It's two different things. This looks really good, like, in the mirror, up close, you know what I'm saying? And it, I just use a very light layer and then I use some concealer to conceal what I needed to conceal and then that was it you know less is more I'm trying to teach myself to be more light-handed because what you look like whenever you put your foundation on is nothing you can look your face can look too light for you your face can look really flat but as long as you've evened out your skin tone and covered your blemishes with concealer or whatever, then you're gonna go in with contour or bronzer, blush, you know, highlight, and you're gonna add that dimension to your face that's gonna really just bring life to your face. You know what I mean? I'm trying so hard to get away from thinking that my foundation has to just cover everything because if I have a foundation on that covers everything, it just, looks like crap you know what I'm saying it just looks bad up close and in person but anyway that's just my two cents so all right <laughs> um I also do have this Tarte CC under eye 
uh, corrector and I really only used it once but I feel like it might be the same thing as the race paste but I'm not sure but I am going to give this a fair chance and if you want me to um, give a review on this I'll let you ho holla at me down below and I'll be sure to do that for you but I love you I appreciate you and I will see you next time bye